Tesla just reported its first quarter earnings for the year 2022 today. The report shows that Tesla is doing better than anyone anticipated. They have produced more cars and made more profits in this quarter which ended March 31st. In this video, we are going to see how Tesla surprised everybody with its production performance. Hi, welcome to Tesla Today. Here we talk about the latest news and the things Tesla is doing to transition the world to sustainable energy. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and you like the content we put out, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. Tesla just reported first quarter earnings for 2022 and surprised everybody by beating its estimates for the first quarter of 2020. Here are the key numbers. Tesla's earnings per share was at $3.22, surpassing its estimated amount of $2.26. Tesla made a revenue of $18.76 billion, surpassing its expected revenue of $17.80 billion. Shares rose as much as 5% in after-hours trading after the news. Revenue from selling Tesla cars reached $16.86 billion, up 87% from the same period last year. Tesla reported a gross profit of $5.54 billion in its main segment. Regulatory credits accounted for $679 million of automotive revenue for the quarter. Tesla also surpassed expectations for the number of cars it delivered this quarter. The increased deliveries and also increases in average sales price for Teslas this year also saw the revenue jump. Tesla has delivered 310,048 cars for the first quarter of 2020. Model 3 and Model Y vehicles made up 9-5% of the deliveries, or 295,324 of deliveries in the period ending March 31, 2022. In its energy segment, Tesla's solar deployments dropped by nearly half to 48 megawatt in the first quarter of 2022 versus the same time last year. The company deployed 846 megawatt hour of lithium-ion-based battery energy storage systems, of 90% from the same time last year, but down from the previous quarter. Musk also talked about expanding the supercharger network to accommodate other EVs as well. Not just Teslas. Tesla plans to provide third-party vehicle access to the supercharger network not just in Europe, but in North America as well. In the earnings call, Musk also talked about the comparison of the Cybertruck to traditional trucks in terms of number of parts. Musk noted that Tesla has not done a comparison yet, though Lars Moravi stated that the Cybertruck is simpler considering its use of megacasts. Ignoring battery cells, the Cybertruck would probably have 20 to 30% fewer parts than conventional pickup trucks. Musk talked about the Robotaxi project and noted that a product event for the Robotaxi would be held next year, with volume production happening in 2024. With regards to 4680 cells, Musk noted that volume production of 4680 cells should likely begin around the end of the third quarter of this year. It should also be noted that 2170 non-structural pack capability is available in Texas Model Ys, just like in Berlin. Musk talked about why Tesla has not adopted 800 volts architecture for charging. Drew Beglino noted that higher voltage is not necessarily better. Musk also noted that the advantages are small but the costs are high. Explaining further, he said that adopting 800 volts architecture may be worth it in the future, but high volume is needed to make the shift worth it. The Tesla Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi are candidates for 800 volts architecture. But for the Robotaxi, the advantages are basically zero. We hope to cover more about the earnings call in the days ahead. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.